Hi everybody, um, this is the Dometic CFX3 75DZ, uh, which is a 75 liter dual zone uh, fridge freezer combo or fridge fridge or freezer freezer or any combination of the sort. So you can choose whichever side you want to be fridge or freezer at any time um, through the settings. Um, this one I think is the late 2019 or 2020 models when they came out with the CFX3, uh, which has a smaller uh, display unit here um, and just, you know, you know, all the settings and everything is pretty much the same other than I guess just the cosmetic changes and I think they've also upgraded the compressor um, on the new CFX3. So it's a bit more efficient. Um, Right now, you know, the compressor is running. Um, it will cycle off once it gets down to um, a consistent temperature, which is really nice um, because they really pull very little power. Um, and you know, Dometic sell these as cool boxes, not fridges, because uh, of the fact if you do lose power, you only lose about one uh, one degree temperature per uh, hour so that the fridge has no power so that's you know what I'm hearing um, why I'm making a video today is because um, although you know the the uh, the label on the lid states that the energy consumption is 9 amps per hour um, I believe that's just the startup draw uh, it does drop down to more reasonable um, amperage um, and I'm trying to determine what uh, battery to use uh, when I go camping um, so, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out exactly how much amp hours I would like to, uh, to have a battery for. Um, I'm thinking around 200 amp hours because I'd like to be able to go for, you know, a long weekend and not have to start the car to charge the battery or if even possible, you know, not rely on any kind of solar panel or, or any hassle like that. I would like, you know, just an external battery um, to, to be able to power the fridge for, you know, two to three days without... Um, too much trouble. So other people that I know that have similar fridges are saying that they pull around one between one to three amps again depending on the environment you live in the temperature outside as well as what you have your temperature and if you have a fridge and freezer um, currently operating. So I'm just giving real life scenario as to how I will use the fridge. Um, right now I'm plugged into 240 because I have 240 here at the house. Um, to get the fridge down to temperature. So my scenario might be different than yours. I will pack my fridge before I go camping the night before um, and have the temperature, uh, the fridge down to the temperature that I want so that when I go camping, it's plugged directly into the car. And then when I get to camp, I switch over to an external battery just to you know give a little help to that battery that it's not having to kick a compressor on that's you know that's warm it hasn't been running for a while so the fridge would be not at temperature so this scenario that I'm running now I have uh, food inside the fridge and freezer it's not completely full it's just full of some stuff that I had already in the freezer and fridge uh, this is because uh, an empty fridge is a lot more um, difficult to uh, keep at a consistent temperature because as I said the fridge cycles off so when it cycles off if you have things in the fridge that are already cold it helps the compressor maintain Maintain the, the temperature inside the fridge. So um, again, what I'm trying to determine is what is the actual amperage on a 12 volt battery, um, because it will be lower than a 240 wall plug um, when it's running. So if you take a look at the app that um, they use, the temperatures that I'm set at are three degrees and negative 10. Uh, so those for the freezer side should probably turn this around but the freezer side is uh, negative set to negative 10 um, and the fridge side is set to 3 and they're currently at 3 and negative 8 I've been opening it a little bit so the temperature did rise but once it gets back down to temperature it will shut the compressor off and uh, it'll be silent again so um, if you take a look at the 240 volt you'll see that it's consistently around 4 amp hours um, in my you know air conditioned environment inside the house um, you know, I don't go camping in the heat of summer here in the Middle East, um, you know, it can get to 56, you know, degrees Celsius and stuff. So it's quite hot. Um, so I don't go camping during the summer. So air conditioned, comfortable temperatures is usually when I would be, um, camping anyways. Uh, so this is most likely realistically what the, the fridge temperature would be at, uh, um, ambient temperature around the fridge anyways. Uh, so again, so the fridge is currently running around 4 amp hours um, using the 240 from the wall and the freezer is running at about 2 amp hours um, 
again from 240. So I'm anticipating that when I switch over to the 12 volt system, uh, the fridge will recognize that it's um, no longer on 240 and go more into a um, power saving mode and, and reduce its amperage. Um, you see that it is saying that it's current, currently connected to AC. Um, so, and uh, just to note that my um, battery protection is currently on uh, low, I believe, yes. So um, the difference between high, medium, and low, if you have it on high, um, the this uh, fridge will detect the amperage from the battery and it will uh, have a high um, uh, setting to, to protect the battery. So if you do end up having your fridge running off of your start battery, uh, it will try to protect the battery and cut out, I think, at around 12 volts. Um, and if you put it on low, I think it cuts out around 11 something. Um, don't quote me on that, I'm not exactly sure, but it, um, it's less likely to uh, preserve um, the starter battery when it's on low setting. So this, again, is not the battery I intend to run the fridge off of. This is literally just a start battery. It's a lead acid battery. It's not an AGM or a lead crystalline or a lithium. Any of those, in my opinion, would be better than the start battery because start batteries aren't really intended to power uh, long term um, for, for anything. They're really just meant to cold start your vehicle. Um, they aren't really meant for deep cycles, um, deep discharges and recharges. This is fully charged up. Um, it is only a 70 amp hour battery. So we will be doing a few things now. We'll just see um, how long this fridge can run off of a start battery in case you are running in that scenario and uh, at what amperage. And I'm hoping that it drops um, down to, you know, between three, three to one amp hours uh, for this size fridge. Uh, and then I can determine based off of that what size uh, battery I will be needing uh, to use uh, when off off-roading and camping and stuff. So without further ado, we will go ahead and switch this over to 12 volt by just plugging it in. Right now, both plugs are in. So it's running off of 240 and 12 volt. And I've noticed that the system um, favors the more economical of the two, which um, if you have a solar panel, it would run off solar. If you're plugged into an AC, it will choose the AC. So I will go ahead and turn the wall off and unplug it. And you can hear the compressor is going. It's very quiet. Um, so now it's still running and it's off of the battery power only. So I'll update you in a little bit with what the amperage is if it does drop. All right, so we're just shy of two hours into this test. Um, I started at about four, about 4.30, 4.35, and it's about 6, uh, 6.25 now, just about. Um, and I've noticed a few things. Um, first of all, my uh, app is showing me that I'm running off of the DC 12 volt. Um, and it's dropped from 12 point, I think it was 12.6 or 12 point, yeah, about 12.6 volts down to, you can see here, 12.2 um, in about a couple hours. So um, I do think that running a freezer does consume considerably more um, uh, voltage than if you were running two fridges or you can even shut uh, half of the fridge off and just run one so if you're just going camping for the day or just going to the beach run half your fridge and you know not even worry about the power but uh, anyways we're still um, now it's 12.1 we're still well within um, you know uh, power ratings for uh, the battery and considering this is a start battery um, you know it's not too too worrisome um, so again, I'll continue the test until uh, the fridge um, turns off to safeguard the battery and I'll take a reading of what the battery was at at that time. Um, but also, just to, to update um, the uh, numbers that I gave you earlier, I think were a bit wrong. I was looking at this white line um, and determining what the voltage was that it was, uh, the amperage, sorry, that it was pulling. Um, uh, it turns out the app doesn't tell you what the amperage is uh, when you're running off of the wall AC plug. Um, only when you switch over to battery DC uh, does the actual amperage start to show. So um, 
and now it's looking like we've spiked up to about 3.3 uh, amp hours um, but on average it seems to be anywhere between you know 0 0.6 to uh, usually around 2.6 amp hours see now it's uh, temperature the white line is the temperature so it's consistently around uh, four degrees for the fridge side um, and the amp is spiked up to about 3.3 now maybe because the compressor kicked back on but uh, you know so it's usually averaging somewhere around 2.6 we'll say um, amp hours for the fridge side um, and I've noticed that these scales are the same so regardless if it's fridge side or freezer side that is the total amperage um, so what I was saying earlier that the fridge was pulling less or the freezer was pulling less amperage is incorrect that's just the temperature uh, fluctuation so the white line again because it's set at negative 10 it's hovering around uh, around negative 10 degrees Celsius dropping down a little bit coming back up but the amperage is staying the same um, across both the fridge and freezer so you could say the average when it's plugged into DC is around 2.6 amp hours um, which is actually really really good so I'm very happy with that and it means that I can go for um, a lower rated battery I don't need necessarily a 200 amp hour battery um, or if I did go for a 200 amp hour battery that just means I've got you know a lot more time so um, yeah if you have any questions or you want um, to see uh, more information about the fridge then just leave a comment